This is cause number 1506221B, the state of Texas versus Jill and Bell. And Bell, you were charged with a capital murder. The state's going to proceed under count one. So on the lesson included offense of capital murder, aggravated robbery. And count two, aggravated robbery. And I'll waive count three. Four. <clears throat> you understand why you're here? Now, it's a first degree felony, so it carries a term of life or any term of not more than 99 years, no less than five years in the penitentiary. In addition, I find not to exceed $10,000 in the good sets. You understand that? There's been plea bargaining. You understand what plea bargaining is? Yes, On a plea of guilty, the recommendation by the state is 30 years in the institution of being in the Texas Department of Criminal Justice. Is that your understanding? You agree to this? All right. You want to have a right to appeal this, you understand? Are you a citizen? And can you read and write? Are you mentally competent? And is this plea made knowingly, freely, and voluntarily? And are you satisfied with your lawyer? You had a chance to look at the little plea admonishments that I have here in front of me? Did you understand? Yes, sir. Any questions about them? You're only 19 years of age, is that correct? You see how serious these offenses are, don't you? And you're going to spend some time in the penitentiary. And I want you to use that time effectively, okay? I want you to study while you're in there, all right? Because you will be getting out. And when you get out, I want to make sure that you don't get in any more trouble. And I think that should be a lesson for you to learn. Am I correct? All right. Um. I just wanted to look in your face. I wish what I saw in your face was some understanding of what you said. I wish what I saw in your face was some feeling that you're sorry for what you did. I wish what I saw was that you understand your role in it and that you had the power to stop it at any time. You could have cut it off the path. I don't know if you're aware of it, um, you know, back in the day to hit a lick. That used to be what we said about people that didn't have the ambition to get up and do what needed to be done. And we'd say they wouldn't hit a lick in a snake. And so because that's the way you were living your life, he hit his death. His daughter didn't have a father. She cries for him all the time. She calls somebody else daddy. The little girls have to have somebody to call daddy. And all of this destruction, all of this waste of time, waste of money. I hope that you realize how you made it worse when you and what's his name cut off your monitor. Decided to hurt some more people. Decided you didn't have the courage to face up to what you did. He didn't always face what he did. He always owned it. And he never set out to hurt anyone else. And he deserved to see his little girl grow up. He deserved to meet some of the family he was just starting to meet. We all deserve not to have our lives turned upside down. Today's adoption day. It's when we got it was on adoption day. I went to court to try to do part of my job this morning, realizing, oh, it's adoption day. Yet, that's not a good day for me anymore. His birthday, we're going to court, jacking around with you guys. Every important day in our family has been tied up with one of you guys. They didn't have the gumption to go to school. 
didn't have the courage to face what you did, and one day to let you sit. It was ready to watch it. So, since what I don't see in your face is <coughs> I'm not going to wish you well in TBC. I'm not going to encourage you to study. I'm not going to encourage you to study. I'm not going to